Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see what we have on the table today. <clears throat> this is a Canon zoom lens, uh, the EFS version, 17 to 85 millimeter. Uh, the aperture is 4 to 5.6. It's an IS and an um, ultrasonic motor. It has problem with the focus hunting, which I can uh, <coughs> show here. Uh, I put it on a Canon EOS uh, 500D, um, which is okay for this camera. The lens fits okay. It doesn't matter if I put the, the stabilizer on or off, so I just turn it off. Doesn't matter. Set it to AV and just uh, point at something. Um, it goes okay on 17. But if I put in 24, it has really some problem and it uh, will get even worse. It has problem. See, the closer I get to and it says pip, but uh, it's out of focus. So I set it to 85. But it's not in focus even if it's set. So <clears throat> I've taken a look around the internet and see what other people do or their solutions, but uh, I would like to make a film about it. So, um, it seems that there are some dust in the, um, in the focus encoder, uh, yeah, system somewhere. So, um, I'll just begin to, um, this, assemble this lens. The zoom is also a bit loose. But uh, it's not the issue. So um, let's go ahead. First, I will try. I will take off the um, the rubber band here with the zoom because I need to take it off just to not broken anything that could be damaged or so. You see, there's in a um, behind this sticker. There is a um, the contact for the uh, encoder for the zoom encoder. So just take it off, put it aside somewhere, <clears throat> and this one is the. Uh, See where I move it. It goes against the the, um, the circuit board, the flex cable circuit board. So before I take it out, I will make a scratch so I know exactly where it should be. So first on the metal. And soon on the plastic. There's a lot of plastic in this lens. So, um, but now I will take it out using my Phillips screwdriver. No, my Yis cross head screwdriver because uh, it fits much better 
then the pH um, zero so easy to, to damage but just put it aside that's it for now then we go to the back of the lens remark there's a protection filter on this so uh, I will not damage the front lens so this uh, back part here has to come out is made of plastic I mean there's a lot of plastic in this lens way too much but I use my um, dentist tool someone else can use a a thin or maybe a very small flathead screwdriver and put it right here and gently push down and lift it up well it's a lot easier with this thin kind of a spade put it in Mm -hmm. There we are, and lift it out. This plastic is so not really good because it breaks very easy. And then we have it here. <coughs> now uh, then we have the contact bridge, which is here, with two screws here and there. They're very tiny, those small screws. So it's free. <clears throat> now, there are four screws that uh, hold the, uh, the mount and it's screwed into plastic. So here we are, and then take out the mount. So it looks. Now, there's a kind of a protection, plastic, uh, cigular around here, which um, I need to take out sooner but there's one screw here which I have to unscrew and keep a finger underneath here of course I should have loosened this one in the beginning but well it doesn't matter well I think we put it on again because it's not it's not actually necessary to take this off so I will just put it in because I only need to take out the um, the flex cable that sits here this goes around and all the way over here to the contact 
switch. So um, I will just use my rubber tweezer and hopefully take it out that way. So that's it. Then I can take this out by So this is how it looks. Remember the orientation. So this goes to there. So that's it. I could also take off the focusing ring, just a piece of plastic. <clears throat> now then we need to take off the circuit board. Um, there's some flex cables around here that goes into parts in the lens. Um, but it should not be a big problem. Just use a... So. And then <clears throat> those are the pressurized type so you just um, need to lift it up so and the other one just lift it out <clears throat> So here we are, and this one comes out. Seems there is some sticky thing here. I don't know why. Now we uh, have this one. another type of it's locked when uh, it gently it's plastic thin fragile plastic just need to take one side and the other one and then just take it out then the last one which is over here and um, where did it win my picture here you see there are some tiny uh, circuit what do you say so just um, this is a metal so take care when you lift it out because the circuit here the, when you not scratch it but with some patience it will be okay now there's one screw over here that hold the uh, circuit board is right here that's the only screw that, that holds the circuit board in place. So when unscrew this, one can actually lift out the circuit board. So, um, So this is how it looks. It can only sit one way. Now, 
put it aside and then we go into continue into the um, to the uh, USM and uh, this very long flex cable take care of that but also the other one it's not a big problem but take care there are let's say just have to tell where they sit there is one two three four five screws around that hold this uh, plastic thingy six actually one two three four five sorry okay five that's actually the only the mount is hold in place by this 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 and this plastic and it's screwed into the body uh, with the five screws around here and uh, well plastic too much plastic so before taking out um, just need a simple with a pen so you know where it sits just a Good advice for you. And then unscrew this part. And keep a finger on here. There's one screw here, and so we are almost there. That's it. Hmm. And then it's possible to uh, lift up this plastic thingy take care of the fragile fragile flex cable but this is how it it is so when it lifted up gently so poor plastic quality and this actually holds the whole lens. Amazing. Hmm. Now, <clears throat> now it's time to um, to take out the USM part. I think it must be the, the right way of doing it. <clears throat> I couldn't find any service manual for this lens, so um, the only thing I have is from other people who has worked with this lens. But um, let's go and see how it can be taken apart. Somebody says this, this, and this screw has to be unscrewed. I don't know yet, but uh, I think 
it could also be uh, those three screws there, there and there. So let's see how it will work. And before I do that, just put a mark. Someone would say it's not necessary. Well, for me it is. And I hope it will help you too. Because if no service manual, hmm, yes sir. Not really easy to, to fix. No, it wasn't that. So we do it in a different way. I just um, try to find out. So uh, I will try this this way of doing it. There are a screw and a thin brass ring. As you maybe can see here. So this is how it looks. A screw and a tiny brass ring and it has to face correct oh. there's no special way it has to sit Let's see how we can do this. No. Take this. Now, should it be possible to lift it out? Hmm. Well, if somebody says so, well, or maybe it has to stay there. So, we go back to the, um, to those small screws here on the back of the USM.
So this should actually be possible to take out. Hmm. Here it comes. So it's correct. Therefore, it's good to set a mark here. So when I lift this out gently, then we have the um, the fork for the. Uh, focus and it goes towards this one down here down here it's the focusing pin that goes into the fork Now, now it's time to take a closer look on this um, <coughs> part because what we need <coughs> is to take a closer look on this under this circuit board. Um, then I need a smaller screwdriver. Where does it go? Here. On those unscrew those uh, big head screws that hold the uh, circuit board. And then lift out this thingy so um, just change battery on my camera so <laughs> well this could be lift up gently And put it aside. Be very careful, this is fragile. And uh, there should be something. like a um, I think it should be possible to lift out something maybe it's a different version I have but um, We have to lose this, 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 and this screw, and then it should be <coughs> possible to take this not circular or plastic part out.
Hmm. And then I guess we will find something under here. So this one should be possible to lift. It looks like there's some tape that the uh, yeah there's a see some tape here which I need to um, So mm -hmm. hopefully it's uh, because no one tells about this in there. <coughs> there are memos about this lens. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um I think I need to uh, to lift this flex cable off like there and take out the last screw for this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So why does it come apart? Yeah, here we are. And uh, lift this out. This is free, and the other one has to come free too. So here we are. Hopefully. So this is how it actually look. And somebody mentioned that the This uh, kind of plastic encoder strip should be um, dirty and therefore it could be a problem and I, I can really see there are some tracks of dirty so um, This is how the uh, okay interesting stuff. So two screws holds their the two um, up to couplers where the. Uh, where the light comes through this plastic and the, in this lens 
like many other lens like this I have searched on it's loose mm. okay so this one could and it should be possible to move it mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are some tracks of of dirt and things. Um so I guess it's a small small lens here or a kind of um A kind of a lens where the light comes through. I think you can maybe see there are some tracks of uh, dust or something like other mention that could be the problem. So uh, let's have a look on this small lens maybe clean it so this those two screw has to come apart and then it should be possible to lift it out um, It should be a tiny screwdriver. So I need a mm -hmm. better to have a pH zero so this comes out and this tiny part well, Now, then I think it should be possible to uh, lift this spring. So, and on the other side, hopefully. Yeah, and it will not fall off. Yeah. There's some, actually a lot of dust and tracks and so ever. So will it be possible to to take this out, 
Og øhm, it's put through this fork, so øhm, I guess it should be possible to lift it out. Mm, not really. Okay, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, of course, of course they sit here, two screws that hold the uh, up to couplers, or what they call. Mm-hmm. 